It was about five years ago, and I was coming out to do my chores and uh, check on my ducks. And at the time, I didn't have geese, I didn't have chickens, I didn't have cattle, I didn't even have livestock guardian dogs. It was just ducks and barn cats that we had on the farm. Came out to the duck house, looked inside the window, and what I saw was my ducks, but they were like bloody. Particularly the white Pekin ducks, I could see blood just sort of streaming down their feathers. opened up the door, looked inside, and apparently a predator had snuck in. Killed one duck and maimed like a handful of ducks. I was shocked because it was my first year of owning ducks or really any sort of livestock, and I'd never dealt with a predator attack. Seeing my ducks injured like that just absolutely broke my heart. I tried to actually better protect them and like patched up a hole that I found in the duck house, which I assume is how the predator got in. The next night, I even set up trail cameras to watch for stuff, happened again. And I had basically on trail camera footage, I saw a mink, which is like a big weasel, sneaking into the house and attacking and it killed like a couple more ducks and maimed a couple more ducks. And I knew I had a really big problem. It felt like a complete and utter failure on my part. It was my job to keep these animals safe, and here I was failing to do the most basic of jobs. When you have that daily ritual with your animals of waking up in the morning, going out there and giving them food and water, checking for eggs, locking them up at night, doing a head count to make sure they're all there, that ritual, doing it day in and day out, over and over, creates a very strong connection and bond. And I feel like I betrayed that bond when I failed to keep them safe and left them vulnerable to that mink. Like, I really felt like I let them down. That was my mistake, and I needed to do better. And that's what very much brought me down sort of a researching rabbit hole of how to deal with it, whether it was doing things like trapping or, you know, kind of staking it out and trying to shoot a predator type of thing, or looking at things like non-lethal predator control. <laughs> 